It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from the Virginia Beer Company. And this is a can of the gorgeous Citra IPA coming in at 5.7% ABV in a 355 milliliter can. Williamsburg, USA is where the beer is produced. And it's a Brewers Association independent craft brewer. I really like that. I really like that stamp. It's like a stamp of small businesses going about their way to make a little bit of money and there's no big conglomerate anywhere to be seen. That's the stamp of approval. That started off, ironically, I believe so, in Australia. Australia was very big with the stamping of the independent breweries. They managed to get a lot of them on board. America followed. And now Ciba in the UK are following suit. You see a lot of bottles and cans with Ciba Independent Craft Brewer on the side. It's definitely a nice stamp of approval. And what's happened since the brewers started to put these stamps on the sides of their cans, what you see, or what I've seen over the last few years, is a lot of the buyouts have stopped. I haven't seen a big beaver town happening for a while, being bought out by Heineken for 40 million quid, Oscar Blues, Goose Island, to name but a few. I've not seen that. It stopped it, if you like, and that's quite a decent thing. Now, I have reviewed a Virginia Beer Company beer before. It was from Home Baggins, where this is from. It was fantastic. It was a lovely, hazy, wonderful, like Hefeweizen style beer. So let's get this out into a glass and see what we get. I've got big, i got high hopes for this beer, I really have. <clears throat> the Hoppy Hefeweizen from Home Bargains, if you see it on the shelf, pick it up, because it's a wonderful beer. Now the beer's coming in at £2.49. You might be thinking, £2.49 for the 355 milliliter can. But honestly, if you think where this beer's come from, it's travelled across from the Atlantic and it's sitting on home bag in shelf for £2.49. I think that's a terrific, tremendous price point. Landing on the shelf at that price. So beer in the glass, we've got a one finger white head, lovely, hazy looking beer, little amounts of carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. Looks like it's been brewed with lots of oats and of course, citrus. So maybe citra, maybe it's citra hop in here. So let's get the aroma then on this beer. I tell you what, this is bang on. This smells fantastic. How they're producing this for £2.49 on the shelf in the UK from America is beyond me. This is smelling like something from Beak or Cloudwater or Verdant. The hops are really singing out of the glass. Passion fruit, mango, little bit of grapefruit. It smells terrific. A little bit of spicy pepperiness going on. You're definitely picking up a little bit of that malt. Let's dive in. Smells great. Cheers, everyone. <laughs> Super soft. Fantastically drinkable. Oaty, really oaty and 
creamy and rich with loads of passion fruit flavours and orange peel and fleshy blood orange. That is fantastic. I'm going to have to check the price. I can't, I can't believe. Yeah. Virginia Beer Company, Gorgeous Citra. £2.49. I can't get over that price point. I cannot... I just cannot fathom how they've been able to make this beer for £2.49. I keep looking to my left. Now, um, I live on a, on a row of terraced houses and across the road, um, an old lady lived there for a number of years. I like, stayed in the family for like 80, 90 years. <coughs> and they had rotten ground floor, floor joists and floor. So they, the lads over there have ripped it all up over the last few weeks and they've just had a massive concrete wagon and they just laid out this whole slab on this on this terraced house and they're all just finished and I can literally see them. They're looking through the window. <laughs> I know them quite well now. They've been working on the house for, for a long time and they're looking through the window looking at me drinking this beer and they're probably thinking, I just laid a massive whole ground floor area of a terraced house and, of concrete, put a concrete floor down, and I'm gasping for a beer. And I, I wish I had some beer on the Krups or the Perfect Draft, because I pour them all a beer and let them celebrate. That was probably the biggest job they've had to undertake over the road there, um, putting that concrete floor in. That was the biggest job. Once that's done, um, it should be plain sailing from going forward. So, yeah. Cheers to the lads across the road, looking at me drinking beer in my conservatory. That is super soft. Super juicy. Grapefruit, you get some oats in there. I just can't get over just how rich and creamy the beer is. The mouthfeel is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Next to no bitterness on the back end. It's just a delight. It's an absolute delight of a beer. And I'll say it again. If you're in Home Bargains or if you've been to Home Bargains and seen these beers, pick up the two Virginia Beer Company's beers. Actually, pick up some of the DC Brow stuff as well. That's coming to the channel next. The Corruption, Corruption India Pale Ale. They're fabulous beers. All of these beers from America in Home Bargains are fantastic. Some of the lagers in there as well, the, the American cans of lager, they're terrific, terrific beers. And the value for money again, just, it just blows the likes of Tesco's, Morrison's, Asda, blows it away as far as I'm concerned. This is drinking like a Verdant or a Cloudwater or, a, you know, Magic Rock or Beaver Town when they were good back in their day. Fabulous. Look at the lacing on the glass. That carbonation rolling up the glass. Great look, great aroma, fantastic taste. Uh, just a load of stuff on the side. Um, barley, wheat, oats, hops and yeast, plus water, of course. And it's been imported by Heathwick Limited in London. <clears throat> Fabulous beer. we got a beer festival. Uh, sorry, a music festival up the park here tomorrow. I might nip down home bargains this afternoon and clear the shelves of this. I'll, I'll be drinking fantastic beer for £2.49 a can. Uh, and, and listening to music for free. You can take your own beer up the festival. Unbelievable. Um, so I'm going to go and fill my boots now. But not before I rate this beer. I like this beer, this gorgeous citrusy soft IPA, Citra IPA. Virginia Beer Company. I like it enough to give it a stone the crows 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Absolutely fantastic value for money. <coughs> Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.